going on guys? Alex Serve 814 ADC and today's video is kind of like an unboxing but not really like an unboxing. Um, you know I have a knife here that's new to the channel, new to me, but I don't have a package or a box to open it out of. Uh, so a little, a little bit of backstory real quick before I you know showcase the knife. Um, I'm filming this on January 24th. Uh, yesterday the 23rd was my birthday, turned 25. Um, so my awesome wife uh, she had already gotten me um, I, what I thought was my birthday present. Um, for those that you don't, for those of you that don't know, uh, some of you probably do, but I am also a big um, Lego collector, huge into Star Wars. Um, that's mainly my, you know, my niche is Star Wars. But I also really like, you know, Marvel and superheroes and you know things of that nature. So for uh, my birthday, back when we had a get together with you know family and whatnot, um, my wife gifted me the new. Spider-Man head or you know bust uh, for Lego that just came out on January 1st for those of you that follow Lego and stuff like that You probably have seen it um, But that's what she got me for my birthday for you know what I thought but yesterday was my actual birthday so before we went out to dinner and uh, You know had a fun fun time out with ourselves She gave me a little bag. it came up to me and had a little bag with me or with her for me and um, you know, I, I wasn't expecting anything and I was I had teased her for a couple weeks because she said that she was looking for knives um, and she was very close to buying me a knife uh, that she said it had sold out. She never told me what it was. Um, so I just was kind of teasing her, you know, like, oh, you get me a knife for my birthday and so on and so forth. But I had no idea she was. So it was a true surprise, which was really, really awesome. Uh, it was definitely a cool, you know, cool surprise when she handed me the bag and I could tell that it had some weight to it. And I looked down and I saw a white box and it said Civivi on it. And I was like, oh, you know, you got me a knife and stuff like that. And I was super excited for it, but I had no idea what it was. Um, so I'm super proud of her for going and doing some research and, you know, finding a knife that she thought was cool. Cause I think that's super important too. in these different types of situa situations be, because it's one thing for, you know, you know, I've gotten plenty of gifts from, or excuse me, plenty of knives from my parents and now my in-laws um, for Christmas, but that's, that's me picking out the knife and them buying it for me. So like, I know I'm getting it more than likely. Uh, but in this situation, my wife went on, you know, picked out something that she liked that she thought I would like and bought it that way. Um, so I think that's really cool. It kind of makes it a little bit more sentimental. Uh, I have two other previous knives from her. I have the Kershaw Highball XL and I have the Civivi Hooligan, um, which I obviously both still have in my collection. Those will never ever leave. Uh, you know, now this one will be included that as well. But without further ado, she got me the Civivi Cogent. So this was, I believe, a model from 2023. So it's a little bit of an older model, uh, but it is not something I ever checked out. This was one of the Civivis from last year, especially with the new, not with the new button lock, but as of last year, Civivi came out with like a whole button lock craze kind of. They released like three, four, five models. Um, I think this came out like around the Cheval year or che che Chevalier, however you pronounce that, um, which is the one that I purchased and ended up not really liking. Uh, so this was one that finally kind of fell through the cracks. And honestly, I couldn't even remember what this model looked like when I opened or when I pulled the box out of the bag and I was looking at it, um, it said Civivi Kojit. And immediately I was like trying to rack my brain because, you know, as a knife nut, as a, you know, a knife reviewer, most models, you know, are in my head and I easily remember things like that. But for some reason, I couldn't remember the Kojit. Then I opened it up and as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh, this was, you know, one of the button locks that, I never got to check out. So it's really cool. Uh, I, you know, she loves like all blacked out knives. I have obviously a couple in my collection and she always just tends to like gravitate towards that styling more. Um, so I, I don't know. I just, I'm really actually blown away by this knife because for button locks, especially in the budget realm, um, they can be kind of hit or miss, but this has some of the best detent and no blade play at all. That's one thing that I'm really, really super impressed by from Civivi is I got this yesterday around mid-afternoon. Um, I carried it with me to dinner and I, I flicked it all night. I've been flicking it all day today. Um, so I just gotten a lot of fidget time and it's there is just no blade play from the factory, which is very, very impressive. It is locked up super duper tight. Um, very, very little button stick. But honestly, the way this actuates is it's just a fidgeter's dream. Um, just flies out of there. I really like the way the flipper tab is kind of like pointed forward almost. And it's very minimalistic, which I never really remember too much from watching other people's reviews and so on and so forth. 
but I really like the way the flipper tab is kind of tucked in behind the guard there. And I mean, it has jumping the whole way around it, but it's very minimalistic. And like I said, it's kind of pointed forward. So it just provides for a really good grip. You just land right in the front and pull it right back. Um, has kind of a clip point, Bowie point, you know, or Bowie style blade, obviously 14C28N, came with a really sharp edge, DLC or black wash, thin edge. Um, you have the black uh, G10 here. Another thing my wife said that she liked about this knife was just like the different kind of milling in the G10, which is cool. Obviously, Civivi's Loop Over Style Deep Carry Clip that is reversible. Um, yeah, I'm really liking this knife. It feels good this way. It feels good this way. So I can't wait to, uh, it was obviously, always, obviously already in pocket, but it's going to be in pocket a lot more. And I'm just really blown away that it is so locked up tight because a lot of times when you get knives in from the factory, they're not like tightened down that well. They're, they're you know, after flicking with or playing with them for a little while, the pivot tends to be loose and you have to, you know, tighten it up and take it apart and, you know, add some thread locker and things of that nature. But for this to be, you know, that great of action, again, snappy detent, good close. Um, for it to be that tuned very well and to have no blade play from the factory is awesome as well. And I, I also noticed too, I found out you can middle finger flick it. Um, there's enough blade down here, you just land and it fires right out. So that's one of those knives that like doesn't look like you have any way of flicking the knife. You only think that you would have the flipper tab, but you can middle finger flick it very, very easily as long as you get enough force on the blade and it flies right out of there. But uh, yeah, so I can't wait to get this in pocket more. I can't wait to bring the four of you to this, to, of this to you guys. Struggling over the words a little bit today, guys. I apologize. Um, but yeah, this was technically my unboxing of the Civivi Cogent. Shout out to my awesome and beautiful wife, Lauren. I appreciate you if you're watching this. Um, she doesn't watch all my videos, but she might watch this one when I tell her that I talk about her quite a bit. So uh, yeah, but leave a comment down below. Did you guys ever handle the Cogent? Do you still have one in the collection? Let me know. Love to hear what you guys have to say. But I'm going to wrap it up now. So thank you guys again so much for watching. I greatly appreciate each and every single one of you guys. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your morning, evening, day, night, whenever you're watching this. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.